do me a favor. Drop a like, subscribe to my channel, and go on the notification bar if you don't want to miss a video. Please do that favor for me, and thank you. So, welcome back to Review Tube. My name is Jordan Harris, and today we are reviewing Spider-Man Far From Home, which is the last uh, film for the Marvel Phase 3. For Marvel Phase 3. And pretty much, I like the movie in the middle. It was okay to me, but things started getting confusing and things ruined the movie, in my opinion. But I'm sure most of you like the movie because of the villain Mysterio. But anyway, if you have not seen the movie, then do not watch. If you haven't seen the movie, then do not watch this video. And sadly, the Spider-Man Far From Home movie and the Spider-Man Homecoming movie is not on Disney+. Plus. So... You can either record it and, or if you have a DVD of it, that's great. But not on Disney Plus. I'm sorry to, to say that because at first I thought those movies were on Disney Plus, but no, for some reason. But anyway, this movie is mostly about how Peter Parker is traveling to different countries in Europe and is and meets a superhero named Mysterio. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Comment down below at the end of this video about which country you would love to visit. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. So, let's go. Okay, so the film starts off with Agent Maria Hill and Nick Fury. They, they met a strange monster that came out named Sandman. And he starts attacking, tried to, tried to attack them, but was stopped by a man named Mysterio. And... Then, after that scene, we go over to where there's a tribute video to the Avengers who died. And that was Iron Man, Vision, and Black Widow. Those three, those three characters, mostly from Infinity War and Endgame. But, most of all, they also mentioned Captain America, which meant since Captain America went back in time, most people think he's dead, I would have to say. But for Peter Parker, um, he is going on a trip to Europe, like I said earlier. And most of all, he wants to share his feelings with MJ and wants to be with her. And that's the most thing that he really wants to do in Europe. Just be, spend time with MJ and tell her how much he feels about her. So that's the main thing throughout the movie. Not just about um, going to countries in Europe and defeating and trying and teaming up with Mysterio, but also him trying to be with uh, MJ. So, so what happens is before Peter Parker goes to Europe, he starts thinking about Tony Stark a lot and how he misses him after what happened in the Endgame and. And he goes on this trip with his friends to Europe. And in his luggage, he his, his Spider-Man suit was in there because Aunt May uh, put it in the suitcase because he, Peter Parker felt like he didn't need his Spider-Man suit. But just to make sure, Aunt May wants him to bring it just in case, just for any emergencies. So for the first country uh, Peter Parker went to was Italy. And, and the... And first of all, there was there was not much chemistry throughout the whole movie with Spider-Man and MJ, so not much of a love uh, connection. But anyway, Peter Parker has tries to have a moment with MJ, but was all interrupted by another monster that monster which happened from the beginning, but not made of sand, but made of water, and his and its name was Hydro Man, and. Most of all, it almost nearly killed most of the people around Italy. But it was but since Peter Parker didn't have his suit on, there was a, another person who came in to save the day. The, the same person who stopped Sandman was Mysterio, using his special mystic energy, defeating Hydro Man just like Mysterio did to Sandman. He became well known, and many people started liking him. This made Peter Parker wonder who was that mysterious person. <laughs> Seriously, I said mysterious. His name was Mysterio. Hmm. 
Well done to put it that way. But anyway, the news starts talking about the, the unknown superhero Mysterio, and Peter Parker meets up with S.H.I.E.L.D. director Nick Fury. And Nick Fury tells Spider-Man to go on a mission, but not with any Avenger, but mostly by himself, but also but teaming up with someone else. And Nick Fury gives him some high-tech gap glasses by Tony Stark, and Tony Stark promised he would give it to Peter Parker. And the, those special glasses were high-tech and super interactive, and it and the glasses name was Edith. And yeah, talking glasses, like there's a talking uh, suit inside his inside Iron Man's armor, like Jarvis. Then it became Friday, so now we have Edith, which is part of the high tech glasses. So pretty interesting. But then uh, Nick Fury revealed that there was an there was an underground Shield uh, base where many Shield agents were tracking down these different types of mystic monsters. For Spider Man, he gets he gets introduced by the same man who defeated those mis mystic uh monsters mysterio and quentin beck uh and this his name is quentin beck and he, and they say that he's out to defeat those elementals who did, killed his family but mostly killed his whole planet which meant for peter parker he's out to team up with Mysterio and they're on an adventure to defeat the one and to defeat those monsters. So most of all, after the trip in Italy, he goes over to Prague where he meets up with an agent who was giving him some new clothes and it was supposed to be a stealth suit. And she told him to take off his clothes, but then one of the students came in where Peter Parker was trying to take off the his clothes and then he said he thought it was the bathroom. So he grabbed his phone and took a picture of Peter Parker with his underwear on uh, in front of the woman, thinking that he was having some activity with the woman, but wasn't. So uh, so that guy who is who took that picture was was going to send it to MJ. But Peter Parker was trying to find a way how to for, how to get rid of that photo, and most of all, he just didn't want to lose interest in MJ and and lose his chance to be with her. So he, so there's a lot of big arguments between Nick Fury and Spider-Man about how Spider-Man needs to act like Tony Stark and act like a true Avenger, which is hard for him. But Mysterio had a heart-to-heart -heart talk with Peter Parker on how to, how to be how being a superhero can get you into a lot of trouble. But still, it was a pretty good talk. But then they defeat another monster named Molten Man and another elemental. And Spider-Man lost his chance to hang out with MJ, but starts fighting this evil monster. <clears throat> And MJ later out finds some special tech that had something to do with with Mysterio, and she took it. For Spider-Man and Mysterio, they defeat Molten Man, and Spider-Man still felt sad because Nick Fury was still trying to tell him to act like an Avenger and still work his hardest to be responsible. Then uh, Mysterio and Spider-Man had another talk together, and Spider-Man nearly knew, uh, barely knew Mysterio, so he uh, started trusting Mysterio and giving uh, Mysterio the high-tech glasses that was given to him, and for some reason, he just gave it to Mysterio even without knowing him more, which made Peter Parker super naive. So he told Mysterio that he was going to hang out with MJ, and tell her how he feels and goes out. For Mysterio, with the glasses on, he revealed that he was a villain. And he tricked Nick Fury and Peter Parker. He explained how he used to work for Tony Stark. And Tony Stark used to make fun of uh, Quentin Beck's tech. But he thought it could change the whole world. 
and Tony Stark later on later fired Quentin Beck. Then he made a group of of uh, geniuses to uh, tr to make some special tech and also make him into a superhero. He fooled the people about thinking about he fooled the people about him being a superhero, being from a different planet, and trying to take over elementals, but it was all a lie, all an illusion. And he is out to make sure that Nick Fury is taken down, and same with Peter Parker. But then Peter Parker asks MJ out on some sort of date, and MJ starts saying that Spider-Man starts saying that Peter Parker is Spider-Man, and she's and she thinks that Peter Parker really is Spider-Man, and she thinks it's kind of obvious. But Spider-Man said, but Spider-Man said that she was right that he was Spider-Man, and she is like, "Hey, yeah, I knew it. I knew you were Spider-Man." And but she did reveal to Peter Parker that Mysterio isn't who he is. That he's actually a trickster. He's actually a villain. This made Sparman uh, blame himself for giving those glasses to Mysterio. So then he tries to tell Nick Fury, but then illusions come to him by Mysterio, and Sparman is being is getting defeated by the one and only Mysterio. Mysterio, of course, was mostly just taking over the world and trying to tell everyone that he is the true Avenger and the true strongest superhero in the world <clears throat> but that doesn't stop Spider-Man to giving up so he starts designing his own suit and he had the help from Happy Hogan this made Peter Parker go down to defeat uh, the Mysterio and his his killer drones and this made Spider-Man try to embrace his inner Avenger and starts using his powerful superpower his spider sense and he stopped having all the delusions in his head and this has made him use one of the drones that shot Mysterio and also stopping the 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 holographic the holographic um elemental most of all which and Mysterio lost but that didn't stop Spider-Man from catching Mysterio right behind, the real Mysterio right behind him with a gun. And Spider-Man knew that this knew he was behind him because, like I said, using a spider sense. But mostly for Aunt May, he calls it calls Spider-Man spider sense a Peter Tingle. <laughs> which sounded kind of weird. But then after defeating Mysterio. Spider-Man goes over to MJ and reveals his true feelings. And they had a little awkward moment with each other, but they started uh, having this strong connection with each other, more like a boyfriend and girlfriend thing. And it was pretty flirtatious, but for Spider-Man himself, yep, he saved the day and stopped evil Mysterio and made sure that that Mysterio wasn't still alive and it was not and it was not a trick. So then and that was all in London because um like I said the um Sandman was in some other country not in Europe but for a molten man he was in Prague for Hydro Man he was in Italy and for the biggest elemental in the world he was in London but for Sparman he returned back to New York and everything was back to normal about him being the superhero in New York and that was the end of Spider-Man Far From Home and the movie itself was pretty hard to explain and pretty hard to um review because Maybe people have questions about who is Mysterio and what the heck is this villain doing? I thought we were going to have Venom or the Green Goblin. Maybe people might, would have might say that, but, well, I'm guessing they're just trying to bring spider villains that you heard of or never heard of. But then, we're going to go into the major spoiler, which is the end credit scenes. First, let's start off with this end credit scene. 
right after when all of you leave, we go over to Nick Fury and Marie Hill. Now, here's the shocker. They're not who they really are. It's actually scrolls. The scrolls are pretending to be Nick Fury and Marie Hill, which leads to the question, where is Nick Fury? Well, Nick Fury is in space with, with aliens and is trying to start something new in that and up in space. So that's one big spoiler I want to review, which is pretty crazy having the scrolls act like Maria Hill and Nick Fury. But before that end credit scene that I told you right already, let's go to the end credit scene that is before the the scrolls were before I re I revealed this one. So here's the shocker. When Spider-Man was just swinging on his way, he finds the news. And the news were saying that Spider-Man was committing lots of mass homicide around in countries in, in Europe. So Mysterio was making this fake viral video about Spider-Man being a villain and Mysterio being the hero. And Mysterio told the whole, uh, the whole world about who Spider-Man was. He revealed that Spider-Man is Peter Parker, which meant Spider-Man was now a wanted criminal. Many people are saying Spider-Man is now a wanted criminal and everyone knows that he's Peter Parker and he's and people are out to get him. They're out to find him and take him dead or alive. And those were the big spoilers. Murray Hill and Nick Fury as scrolls and Spider-Man and identity was revealed. And that was Spider-Man Far From Home. So I hope you enjoyed this review. I kind of enjoy it not as much as I love doing Endgame and Black Panther but most of all like I said just comment down below about which country you want to visit and yeah for right now this is my last video for right now because this is the winter break and next year I'm going to review more movies that are non-Marvel related because I just wanted to do the videos for all the Marvel movies that were in the Marvel Cinematic Universe but mostly part of Disney so Next year, I'm going to review Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. When early, when January starts early, I'm going to start reviewing Once Upon a Time in Hollywood and other stuff. But yeah, that's the full Marvel review. So please watch all the other Marvel reviews that you haven't seen on my videos. So make sure you, you do that for me. And I hope you guys enjoy your Christmas. Enjoy your holiday. Enjoy, enjoy your holidays. Enjoy everything that you're having and so thank you for joining me on this year during this this hard time we've been dealing with and thank you for all the support you give me on this channel i love you guys thank you so much go check out my uh, future video that i'll post next year during january once upon a time in hollywood i hope you guys stay safe stay healthy and enjoy your holidays thank you and i hope to see you next year in 2021.